hey, Bill, who pays closing costs when I'm buying a home? Is that me or is that the sellers? Well, the answer is a combination of both or sometimes one, sometimes the other. In reality, it's negotiable. So there's no set standard or no set rule that says the seller has to pay the closing cost or the buyer has to pay the closing cost. What you find is a lot of times if it's a seller's market or a buyer's market, the leverage is going one way or the other. And if it's a buyer's market, oftentimes you wind up seeing the buyers with the leverage where they can get the seller to pay more closing costs. A couple of years ago, when we were going through the COVID boom, if you would, it was rare if ever to see the sellers willing to pay the closing costs because simply they didn't have to. There was more people wanting to buy the homes than there were homes available. So you saw sellers who were willing to give uh, less concessions or even accept less offers or homes that are under contingency. But now we're not so much in a uh, seller's market. It's kind of an even market. So at least for us in where are we right now, February, January 2024 in Middle Tennessee, we're seeing that the market is kind of even. So we're seeing sellers pay closing costs, not on every file, but it's definitely not uncommon for us to see seller to pay the closing cost. So the answer to your question is it's all negotiable. So if you make an offer and the seller accepts the, the, your offer to pay closing costs, then in that case, the seller's paying them. Sometimes the seller negotiates and they willing to pay a less amount or sometimes they just accept to pay all of them. Sometimes they don't pay any of them. So 